Smith with PW Marine Engineers. I've had over 20 years experience in the marine industry. I'm going to show you on my how to video on what I look for when I'm fitting a key for the coupling end of the shaft. Things to look out for is obviously the right keyway width to match the shaft. Um, also, the, the uh, fit of the key. Now, the fit of the key is quite important. Um, the key doesn't actually drive the uh, coupling or the transmission. It's the tape that's driving the shaft. The key is there as backup. Um, so, what I look for is how tight the key is in the shaft. But this is an exaggerated key. This key rides up the, the key way. What happens is, is the, the key actually exaggerated, moves up the table like so, and it does not give you a right fit. Out of all the experience that I've had with uh, misalignment and vibration in the vessel, 95% of the time is just by ill fitting or wrong practices when it comes to fitting up the coupling. So a couple of key things to look out for is that the key is firm in the shaft. Secondly, the key slides easily down the uh, keyway of the coupling. This is a, a good fitting key, so it slides down the keyway nice and easy by hand. But when you put it into the keyway of the shaft, it's got to be tapped in. Several ways that you can fix it if you've got a loose key. Preferably make the right size key to start with. And, and run. So once the key is firm and cannot move it by hand, and we check the fit of the coupling. So, um, slide it on, take it up to the top, and then you check the uh, clearance down the top of the key. Now you should see light down the top of the key, but hardly any light down the sides of the key. Once, once you're happy with the dry fit of the coupling, that it's not picking up on the keyway or anything like that, then it, as you, as you know, um, being inside the boat, it's a lot different, you know, working out on the bench like this and, you know, put it on nice and easy. But inside the boat, you're upside down and, you know, putting, putting the coupling on. So if you follow these simple steps, your fitting experience will be much nicer. So you, you make sure the key doesn't move, that slides nice and easy up to the top of the taper. Then when you come down into the vessel and put the coupling on, you'll be able to go lock it on, away you go.